Hey everyone, in this lesson we are just going to be setting up our project a bit, we're going to be uh, importing some of the assets we need as well as setting up our folder structure. Um, if you are using the included project files that come with the course, then you can skip over this lesson, but this is just going to explain um, a bit of, about the folder structure and some of the assets that we are going to be using inside of this project. So to begin, um, you might notice that there is a folder already called Scenes, and this gets created automatically with newer versions of Unity, and inside of that we have a sample scene. Um, this sample scene is just like the default scene in Unity, it has a main camera and a directional light. But for us, we don't really need this, we only need two new scenes. And these scenes are going to be the game scene and the menu scene. Now, to create a new scene, we can just right click down here in the project, go create, and scene. And we are going to be calling this one game. And in the game scene, this is just where we are going to have basically all of the gameplay for our game. Wherever we can move around, jump, kill enemies, that sort of stuff, that is all going to be inside of the game scene. With the sample scene here, we can actually delete this as we won't be needing it anymore, so we can delete that. And then let's just double click on the game scene to go into it. Um, do we want to save the sample scene? No, we don't, so we'll just click on don't save. And now we are in the game scene. The second scene we need and the final scene is going to be the menu scene. So let's right click, go create, create a new scene, and this will be called menu. Now our menu in this game isn't going to be too complex, we're not going to have bunch of options to change resolution or anything like that. We are just going to simply have a play button and a quit button. Okay, and now that we have our scenes done, let's go back to our main assets folder here and create the rest of our folders. So, next up, let's right click and create a new folder, and this one we are going to call audio. Now, in our game, we are only going to have uh, two audio clips that we'll be implementing. You can, of course, include many more if you wish, or include different ones. If you have your own custom audio clips that you want to include in the game, you can. But included in the project files are going to be a pickup sound effect and a weapon shoot sound effect. Now we can go back to our assets uh, main folder here, and the next folder we're going to create is the materials folder. And this is where we're, going to, where we're going to be creating our materials for our models. Because when we start out, we're just going to be using capsules and cubes for our models in the game. Uh, this is known as grey boxing, and that is what you do before you implement the final models. And for the final models, let's create a new folder here. And we'll call this one Models. And inside of here, what we're going to do is, just like with the audio, I'm going to drag in some pre-made assets that are going to be inside the project files. Um, there should be a ammo box and health pack model that you can import. These are two custom models. And then for the characters and environment, we're going to be importing uh, two asset packs, and these are from Kenny. And Kenny is a public domain site where you can download 2D assets, 3D assets, and these are all public domain, so you can use them in any of your projects. The first one is going to be a character models pack, and these, of course, will be linked down in the lesson summaries as well, if you do wish to uh, download these uh, from the website and have a look at all the different models as well. So, in the character models here, we just have a bunch of different models here. Actually, we'll go... You have the basic character model here, and then we have the advanced character model. We'll probably just be using the basic character since it'll be a lot uh, easier to use. And then over here in um, the materials folder, we have all of our different materials for our different characters that we can use. With that, we can go back to our models folder and import the next pack, which is going to be the nature pack. And this is just going to have some trees, rocks, just some environmental assets that we can import and use for backdrop, uh, use for defense when we have enemies chasing after us. Uh, of course, you can have whatever you want. There are some other assets on the site that are um, like cities, uh, space themed, and you can import those too if you wish. But we're just going to be using this nature pack for our environment. Okay, and that is our models complete. Now what we're going to do is create our next folder here in the assets, and this one is going to be called Physics Materials. Now I'm not going to get into too much detail on Physics Materials uh, right now, Physics materials are used to change the properties of colliders and physics objects. They allow you to change their amount of friction, uh, the bounciness, and basically make it so you can create stuff like rubber, wood, stone, all these different real life materials that we can implement inside of Unity. And we'll be using these on the player and the environment to basically make it so the player can't get stuck on edges and on surfaces. Alright, um, next folder is going to be prefabs. 
So we'll create a new folder here, we'll call this one our prefabs, and this is where we're going to be storing all of our prefabs. All of the things we either want to save, um, so we can use them in maybe other scenes if you have other levels, or things that you want to uh, be spawning in the game, such as bullets. And finally, we can create our last folder, and that is going to be the scripts folder. And in here, of course, is where we are going to be storing all of our scripts for the game. And that's about it for the uh, project files and assets that we will be needing. And of course, you can get these assets uh, from the included project files on the course page. Um, or you can go to the Kenny website link down below where there will be uh, various other asset packs as well that you can download. But we're going to be using these ones and I'll be seeing you all in the next lesson where we start to create our player controller. So I'll see you all then.